Adobe Illustrator CC is the industry standard design app that lets you capture your creative vision with shapes, color, effects, and typography. Work across desktop and mobile devices and quickly create beautiful designs that can go anywhere. Print, web and apps, video and animations, and more. Digital graphics fall into two primary categories, vector graphics and raster graphics. Raster-based graphics, such as a photograph, are groups of pixels aligned on a grid to form an image and have a fixed resolution. Raster images cannot be scaled up or down without quickly losing quality. Vector graphics are resolution independent. They're made of objects and paths that are defined mathematically, which means they can be scaled up or down in size without losing quality. While Illustrator can work with both of these types of graphics, its powerful toolset for creating and manipulating vector graphics is what makes it the go-to app for a wide range of uses. So what is Illustrator used for? Just look around you to see logos that brand corporations and products and are used in all types of applications, from business cards to websites, billboards to bus wraps. You can also create photorealistic artwork navigation icons on websites, packaging designs for general merchandise, maps, both printed and digital, charts and infographics, posters, perhaps announcing a museum exhibit or music concert, and all manner of illustrative artwork, user interfaces on your computer and mobile devices, even the clothes you wear. All of these and more are created with the help of Adobe Illustrator. Start your creative work wherever you are with mobile apps like Illustrator Draw, Capture CC, and Comp CC, and continue your work with Illustrator CC on the desktop. You can work seamlessly across Photoshop with artwork that was first created in Illustrator, like this illustration, and leverage Creative Cloud libraries built into Adobe Desktop and mobile apps to keep all your creative assets up to date and at your fingertips and bring that artwork into InDesign for a complete design workflow. As a Creative Cloud subscriber, you can browse and access thousands of royalty-free stock art from Adobe Stock directly from Illustrator. And Illustrator integrates perfectly with animation and video apps like Animate CC, Premiere Pro, and After Effects, so you can take your Illustrator artwork to video and animations too. Illustrator lets you create designs that are infinitely scalable for any size of screen or printed material. And with Illustrator CC and Creative Cloud, you can turn your brightest ideas into your greatest work, wherever inspiration strikes. To help you become more familiar with Adobe Illustrator, let's take a tour. To start, you'll open an Illustrator document. With Illustrator CC open, you can open a file by choosing File in the menus above, Open. In the Open dialog box, Navigate to a file you have, or you can open this practice file from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. Then click Open. After opening a document, you'll usually want to make sure that you can see all of the document content. To do that, choose View, Fit All in Window. With a file open, you'll see the Illustrator workspace. Now the workspace is made up of an open document in the document window you see here, the menus above, the application bar below the menus, and on Windows, the menus are in the application bar, the Tools panel on the left, and finally, Dock panels like the Properties panel you see here on the right. As you explore in Illustrator, you'll find that you can move parts of this workspace to have things you use all the time easily accessible, or maybe to show more of the artwork you're working on and fewer tools and panels. So let's explore the pieces that make up the workspace. In the Tools panel on the left, you'll see tools you can use to create and edit your artwork. Some of the tools have a little arrow in the corner, which means there are more tools you can choose from. For instance, press and hold on the rectangle tool here to show more tools you can choose from. Click to select the Ellipse tool, and notice that the menu of tools is now hidden, and the Ellipse tool is selected. Come back to the top of the Tools panel and click to select this Selection tool. Now, this is a tool you'll use a lot to do things like select and move content. Come out to the document and click in this rectangle to select it. Now suppose you want to change the color of this rectangle. If you look in the Properties panel to the right of the document, you'll see options available for the content you select, like its position and size, appearance properties like the fill color here. Let's try changing the color of this object. So click the fill color, 
and select another color to fill it with. You can then press Escape to hide the color panel. You'll also see some quick actions down here. These options change depending on what's selected. You can even click underline words like stroke to see even more options. You can then click away from the panel to hide it. Now the properties panel is docked on the right side over here with a few other panels called the layers and libraries panels. If you want to see the layers or how the content in the document is ordered, for instance, you can click the layers panel tab at the top to show the layers panel. To show the properties panel again, click on the properties panel tab. If you find that you need more space in the document window to work on your document, you can click the arrow at the top of the dock panels to collapse them. This will give you a little more space to work. To show the panels again, you can click on a panel name to show the panel. And then click on the tab or panel name to collapse it. Or you can click the arrow at the top of the dock panels again to show them all. Now there are actually a lot of panels in Illustrator for you to explore. Each contains different options. And they can be open from the window menu up here. Any panel that has a check mark is open and currently showing. You can see the properties panel has a check mark. Let's open another panel. So choose a line to open the align panel group. A group is a series of, in this case, three panels. And you can see each panel has a separate tab. This group is called free floating because it's not docked with the other default panels on the right. You can move them around by dragging the title bar at the top. You can also dock one or more of these panels on the left or right side of the workspace by dragging it into place. So let's dock the Align panel on the right. Drag the Align panel by the tab onto the panel tab names docked on the right. When a blue highlight appears in the Properties panel group here, release the mouse button. The panel is now added to the group. To close the remaining panels left in the group, click the X in the corner. Now at some point, as you open, close, and rearrange a lot of these panels, you may want to reset them to their original locations. To do this, you can reset the entire workspace. In the application bar above the document, click Essentials and choose Reset Essentials to put all of the panels back to their default locations. Now, if you see something else chosen in this menu, choose Essentials first, and then choose Reset Essentials. As a last step, you're finished with this practice file, so you can close it by coming up to the menu bar and choosing File, Close, without saving. Now that you're familiar with the Illustrator workspace and how to manage panels, going forward, you'll be able to more easily organize panels in a way that complements your working style. Being able to get around in your documents in Illustrator by zooming in and out and moving between artboards will make it much easier to create and edit your artwork. So to get more comfortable with navigating in your documents, you'll explore how to zoom in a document, and then you'll learn how to move or pan in the document window. You can open one of your own Illustrator files, or this file from the practice files for this tutorial. And when you work in Illustrator, your content is on artboards. An artboard in Illustrator is similar to a page in Microsoft Word or Adobe InDesign. In this particular document, you'll see a series of artboards. You can have a lot of artboards in one document, and they can also be different sizes, maybe to design a postcard and a poster for the same client in a single document, which makes it easier to share assets and colors and different things across the different pieces you're creating. The first thing you'll do is select some artwork. So select the selection tool in the tools panel on the left, and click on artwork in this artboard. Once you do that, you should see a subtle black line around this particular artboard. That line tells you it's the active artboard, or the one that you're currently working on. To fit the active artboard in the document window, choose View, Fit Artboard in Window. This can help you focus on a particular artboard in your document. Now, suppose you're working on content on this artboard, and then you realize you need to edit artwork on another artboard. You can do that by panning or dragging within the document window with the hand tool. So in the Tools panel on the left, Press and hold on the Zoom tool, and select the Hand tool. Press and drag in the document window to move around. It's kind of like moving a piece of paper on your desk, but digitally. To see all the artboards and the artwork again, you can choose View, Fit All in Window. When working with more detailed artwork, sometimes you want to zoom in or make things appear larger. 
You can do this several ways. We'll begin by using the Zoom tool. First, let's make sure that nothing is selected. To do that, choose Select, Deselect. To select the Zoom tool in the Tools panel on the left, press and hold on the Hand tool and select the Zoom tool. Then come out into the Document window, and to zoom in, click Once. Where you clicked is now in the center of the document window. Try clicking a few more times to zoom in closely. 